hijab and today I'm showing you how to wear a square scarf as a wrap. So obviously what I'm wearing looks like it's a wrap but in fact I'm actually wearing a scarf. And this print is going to debut very soon on our website, available in both scarves and wraps. But as you'll see from the tutorial, you can wear both these squares and the wraps in this style. So it'll give you a little bit more versatility with the hot hijabs that you own, and it'll show you a few different ways to wear your scarves. So here's the first look. I have a little brooch here and one side coming down, and I'm gonna show you a couple other looks um, with a square that will make it look like a wrap. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this square scarf is of the newer 40 by 40 size. This tutorial will work with our older sized square scarves, although you're not gonna get as much coverage in the front, obviously, because they're a little bit smaller. Um, but nevertheless, it still works. You just have to be a little bit more creative with how much um, coverage you're gonna have in the front. Okay, so what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do is take the straight edge of one of the sides of the square, and I'm going to bring it up and pin it right underneath my chin. Now when I wear wraps, I typically like to wear an undercap or an umpla um, underneath if it's a wrap that's of this um, chiffon light material. And the reason why is because the, this light airy chiffon doesn't give me the right kind of crease I like at the top because due to my own face shape I have more of an oval face shape. And so it doesn't sit right. I need an undercap. Um, but obviously for you it might be different depending on your, your face shape or what material you're using if it's satin or these chiffons. So do whatever you feel most comfortable with. So once you've pinned it underneath your chin, you're going to bring all that fabric from the square into the front. Okay? Now once you have it, and you'll see there's a lot of fabric, you're going to take this whole bunch of fabric and just wrap it around your neck. Okay, so now you've got this automatic drape from all that fabric, and you've got that strand that now can hang down really nicely on the side. Now, I used a brooch to attach that in place, but obviously you can use a safety pin, a straight pin, whatever you feel comfortable with. I put the brooch just to add a little something extra, although obviously you can wear it however you like. Okay, so that's the first look. So if you're not, if you don't want this long drape on one side, then what you can do is when you're bringing the one side over, you're gonna leave all this here. Instead of bringing it all back, you're gonna leave this front drape right here bring it back around your neck, and then safety pin this in place. Again, like I said, if you don't want to use a brooch, then just use a good old safety pin. Ah! Too much fabric. Okay, it's in. So you can see this is a much different look. You've got much more coverage in the front and then you don't have that one strand coming down. And I actually really like this look. It's very similar to the um, tutorial I showed you last time with the larger scarf and how to, to achieve more coverage in the front. And the very last style I'm going to show you is very similar, although it's just a different way to wrap it, which is more traditional old school wrapping. Instead of going right around your neck, you're going to bring the middle part of the square and wrap it over your head. If you like a little bit more volume around your head, I know a lot of my friends like that look, then you want to do this. You want to wrap it around your head instead of around the neck. And then just go ahead and straight pin it in right around here. And I like to use the straight pin underneath my chin as opposed to right here, just because it ends up looking a little bit more neat. And then I tuck this in so I don't have some random flap hanging. So like I said, this gives you a little bit more volume and you still get that same look of coverage with the square. 
So those are the three looks. It was very simple. I hope that you're able to achieve it at home. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at melanie.elturk at uthijab.com. Send us your tutorial requests. I love to show you any style that you would like to see. And as always, you can always hit us up on Facebook, on our Instagram page, or on our blog. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Assalamu alaikum.